Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I know that it's almost spring, but it's still so cold outside. <laughs> I can hardly wait for spring. So today, I'm going to warm you up with another AutoCAD tip, all right? So uh, today, we're going to be talking about another express tool. I love express tools, as you know, and it's been in the program for, I'm going to say, about five years or so, ever since they fully incorporated the express tools into AutoCAD. What a great year that was. And this express tool will really come in handy for those of you who work with lots of blocks with attributes. So let me set the stage. So you have a scenario where you have some blocks that you need to explode. They have attributes in them. You just need to make some minor tweaks maybe to the block. And you don't want to change the block definition. You just want to maybe change one instance of that particular block. You need to move a line over whatever the scenario is. So you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to go in and I'm going to explode it. So I'm going to go into the explode command and I'm going to type it in. Do not be like me. Be better than me, okay? Explode. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select. This is a block. It has attributes. And I go to explode it. And then, ugh, what happened? It says room tag on the screen. I wanted it to keep the 105. So it replaced the attribute value with the original attribute definition, which is definitely not what I wanted, right? So what to do? Well, let's undo that because bad things happened. So this is where this great express tool comes in that you're just going to love. I'm going to go to the express tools tab. I'm going to use my ribbon the way I should. And the very first tool says explode attributes. Not very clear what it says there, but that executes a express tool called burst and uh, you can type in burst but um, we're going to use it from the ribbon like we're supposed to so i'm going to go ahead and try this i'm going to select explode attributes which executes the burst command and you can grab one or more blocks i'll go ahead and grab a couple you can window them you can grab them one at a time whatever works for you and hit an enter and it looks like my blocks didn't even explode right everything looks exactly the same but in fact if i select any one of these you'll see that these are now individual entities i can make modifications Probably wouldn't want to do that, but I could I can move the text around. So definitely it is exploded, but it returned. Well, after I exploded it, it kept the attribute value, which is exactly what I wanted. So this really comes in handy with title blocks. Sometimes you need to make some minor modifications to an individual title block. This really comes in handy because it will allow you to keep the attribute values. All right, so I hope that that tip warmed you up just a little bit. And uh, don't forget the burst command, and I will see you back in two more weeks. Take care.